Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna go through some simple text animations that you could do in Premiere Pro. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey channel gang, how's it going? Dave here, I hope everybody's doing well. Today I wanna to go through some simple text animations that you can do within Premiere Pro, no extra plugins with the effects built in. And if anything, these are introductory tools that you can use to make even more complicated effects in the future. The first one we're gonna do is super simple, is kind of a text reveal thing using an asset. I'm just gonna to go to Envato Elements and download an asset I can use. There's a link in the description with an offer they're running at the moment, $9 for your first month. So I'm just gonna drag this element in there and right there where there's an explosion, I'm simply gonna add the text underneath. So go into your text tool. Let's hide that asset so we can line up the text and that's pretty much it. So as soon as the explosion happens, the text gets revealed underneath it. You can do the same kind of thing with this fiery reveal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna get some text in there, align it so it's right in the middle. With the only difference being right where the fire is right there, I'm simply gonna add a cross dissolve onto my text. Really easy to do especially when you have assets from Envato Elements. Next, I'm gonna show you an inverted text reveal. I'm simply gonna to go to my text tool again, make sure it's all lined up in the middle. And I'm gonna go here and turn on the transparency grid so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna to go to my text and go down to the appearance and I'm gonna add a background. So I'm gonna add a black background and then I'm gonna have it on 100% opacity. And then I'm gonna duplicate that, pressing Option and dragging up. And then I'm gonna to go to my effects and drag it on an invert tool on the bottom text. And then I'm gonna add a crop tool to the top layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reveal the bottom layer by slowly cropping away the top layer. So I need to animate that, I go to the beginning, add a keyframe, and then choose your desired length. And then I'll put that keyframe to 100 and you get something like this. This is a great effect to use for social media content where you've got some kind of timeline to make it a bit more interesting. Now these are cool text animations, but if you're like Dave, my guy, I don't have time for this. You can always go to Envato Elements and download motion graphic templates, drag and drop, easy to use, look great. I'm of the opinion of knowing how things work in case you need to customize things further, which is always useful, but check out the link in the description. They've got a bunch of stuff for you guys to check out. The next simple text animation is simply just putting some kind of animated background within your text. Super easy to do. Let's get some text in there. And I'm gonna move this text to the second track. And then on the first track, I'm gonna use this cool background I got from Envato Elements. Pop that under the text. And then I'm gonna go to my effects and use the track matte key. Pop that onto your video. And then in your effects control, you're gonna tell the matte to look at your second video layer. And that way you get your video animation within the text. Add a simple crossfade in the beginning of your video and you get something like this. Now the next one is we're gonna use the echo effect. Now the echo effect is really cool. I'm gonna take this text and as you can see, the text is moving up. I'm simply gonna to go to my effects and look for echo and I'm gonna drag it onto my text. Now, as I'm going through the video, you can see how the text kind of echoes itself. So I'm gonna stop it right there and then I'm gonna to go to my settings and add a few more echoes and then change the settings to where I feel they're right. Now, this is cool, but personally, I think there's too much going on. So what I would do is duplicate that layer and then on the top layer, turn the echo off, but then on the bottom layer, go to my essential graphics where the text is. Turn the fill off and then turn the stroke on and maybe put that to about four. That looks really cool. I'm just gonna trim the echo layer, add a cross dissolve, and you get something like this. The next idea is to animate the RGB values of the text. So let's go again, get some text in there, and I'm gonna go to my effects and add some chromatic aberration. Drop that onto your text. That automatically looks like a cool look. So we're just gonna go ahead and animate the red, green, and blue values. Add a key from in the beginning move to wherever you want and let's change these around a bit and then we'll move to where we want it to end and just make these values zero and you get something like this. Obviously you can slow down and speed up those values but it's a cool kind of look you can experiment with. Next is the flicker effect. We're gonna get some text in there. Zoom into 400% and then I'm gonna go to my effects and add a strobe light effect. Drop that on there and then where you see this pen tool, I'm just gonna push on the pen tool and then I'm gonna mask out the first letter. I'm gonna feather it so it's zero. And then where it says strobe operator, I'm gonna make sure that's on subtract. 
So what that's going to do is it's just going to take that letter out and back in. It's just going to flicker it. Now we need to do this for every single letter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to where the strobe light effect is, copy it. So command C and then command V. And then we're just going to move the mask around for each one of these effects. Once that's done, go through each one of these effects and change the duration of the strobe, the strobe period and the random seed. So once you start changing those, you'll get each letter flickering at different times. If you want to change the speed of that, you can go to your stretch tool and then speed it up or slow it down. What you can also do is copy that layer and then on the top layer, just turn all the strobe light effects off and then lower the opacity and then you get a look like this. Or if you want to take it a step further, go into your effects and look for the VR glow. Put it on the text that's flickering, change some of the parameters and then you get something like this. Let's check out some comments from the channel gang. Lewis McCrary says, all this time I had no idea adjustment layers had quite that much power. Only ever did color grading with them, always learning. That's great, man. It's great to hear. Steve E. Miller. Wow, this type of thing works in After Effects too. After so many years, I never realized I could use an adjustment layer like this with transform. Thank you. Thomas Herbert, the zoom in effect was a nice tip. Thanks, keep up the good work, guys. Appreciate it, man. I really like reading these comments because it takes a while to make these videos sometimes. You don't know how they're going to land. Richard King, bro, this is the cheat code. Always. Yeah, Josh and the team do a great job. So we'll keep hammering at it and keep releasing videos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something today. If you want to go more in depth on text animation, Herman's done a great video of how to do them in After Effects. And Josh has done one on how to do some really cool stuff in Premiere Pro. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We drop videos every single week. If you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my Instagram handle. Come and say hi. Till next time. Peace.